can't believe I'm doing this video. Here are two frames of the actual asteroid I was trying to, or small planet, that I was trying to align myself with my camera off the tripod. So from top to bottom center, you'll see it come down in these two frames. Very dark. Good luck. Hey guys, just a quick video. A couple of you are overwhelmed by some of the things I've been posting. And I get some comments back, which is sort of normal. I am expecting to uh, get some skeptical responses back. It's only normal. The things that I'm finding are very overwhelming and they're hard to believe, right? Well, this is the crescent moon on January 2nd. And I'm trying to explain to the, the couple of people that were writing silly remarks on the page. It, 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 I admit it, it bugged me. It really bugged me that, that you guys, some of you think that I made the moon bigger. I mean, you're wasting my time telling me these stupid things. Now listen, I'm going to show you guys what an enhancement does on the moon. And I'm going to do this quickly because I have to do the asteroid video since I found more proof. So now look at this. I'm going to show you guys directly. It's not going to be a long video because it's made me laugh so much, okay? Actually, hold on. I'm going to back up. Hold on, hold on. I want you to see the whole page. Let's do this without stopping the video. I want you to see the whole page. It's just a Google page with that cheap enhancement on the right and the stupid things you can add of color. So what I did is in my moon, always looking around in my pictures, this is the original picture. You can see the size there of the crescent moon. How come it's so large? Well, it's not going to be a long video, folks. There we go. The video is done. The moon is now full. The moon is not full. The moon is now full. The moon is not full. Now full, not full. Full, not. Full, not. It's not hard to understand that I upped the enhance button because I wanted to get what was in the background. And by doing that, well, you're going to get what's in the background. And you guys see what's here. This is the asteroid. We don't give a heck of a lie by the moon there. It's the asteroid. It's right here. It's over my house in the atmosphere, lower atmosphere, and it's floating by. It was here, and I have a picture of it here, picture of it here, and now it's here. So it flew by between or underneath Venus and Mars on January 2nd. 2009 ES is um, an asteroid that China found coming into the asteroid, uh, coming into uh, new, uh, around New Year's time. There's been a lot of hush about it, not a lot of talk about it. And uh, you watch in a couple of days, it's probably going to crash. And we'll know that it was uh, a real event. So another thing... Another thing is that I have a 1,000 millimeter camera. When I'm looking at the moon, it's going to be this size, guys. I'm not going to look at the moon small. That's why I bought a camera to look at it close. This still is the crescent moon. Look at the size of it. So it's not hard to understand that this moon, at this size, I upped and enhanced the, contra uh, the enhancer, and it makes the moon round. How innocent are some people to come on my page and tell me that the moon is bigger than And now look at this down here. Here's the asteroid right here. We're going to zoom into the asteroid and get it up here, which is now on the right of Venus. All these pictures. Here's a good one. Now let's see. This is the one I'm posting. You see this? You see that? Really happy to have you all here, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a look at this video. I'm sorry I made this video for a couple of skeptical people, but uh, not just to get back at them, to really try to make them understand, and all of you, why sometimes my moon looks full on a crescent moon. This is the crescent moon of January 2nd. You'll see in the photo, I'll back out later on. Well, you can see it right down here. Venus is down there. Mars is a bit higher up. It's not in this photo, but it's the day of the alignment. Second or third. I think it was the second. And 
the crescent moon, when I, when I take pictures of the moon with high dynamic range, the entire moon comes out. And obviously I'm doing that because I want to go get what's in the deep field and back. Let me show you something very important about this dark photo that uh, no one would ever have kept or seen and would have thrown this lousy, crappy moon picture away. Let me show you something. I'm going to come sit back here my, behind my computer and I'm going to show you guys a really quick thing here. Now I'm upping the clarity and that's all it took. Already the asteroid he is here, purple asteroid. In the photo that I showed you guys in the first video it was here, purple asteroid. Now it is here and I also caught some flybys because I have it a bit further off here too. So it has to be something that was moving rather fast in the lower atmosphere and we did see it. I did see it. So I upped the light. By putting it down, you don't really see what's beside Venus down here at the asteroid. If I up the light, you can see it now down here. If I enhance it even more, like I did, that some of you didn't appreciate, well, look, it's all to help this guy come out. There you go. And this is how I would present on a video a photo. So this is the video, this is the photo I would have presented you guys saying, look what I caught, uh, an asteroid. I mean, look how beautiful the color is of it. Look how intense it is and how much it shows. But the first thing someone's going to say is, what's wrong with the moon? It's light. It's an enhancement. Someone who's trying to prove something is going to enhance a picture so that they'll be able to show the asteroid and not really care about the surrounding guys. This is what I'm trying to do. There's a lot of asteroids in the lower atmosphere. Maybe not asteroids. I don't know if they're considered asteroids if they're very small. But this is not small. It's pretty big. It's big enough to, to, to be uh, worried about. That's the thing. So this is another photo I just made in front of you all online. Okay, And it's not the same photo that I had in the other video because it was over there. So I'll look through my photos and I'll try to put in four or five photos with this at different areas. Those who are good in photography can take my photo, analyze it, and check to see if there's any layers in it. Check to see if I, uh, by zooming up very closely on a photo, you could tell if somebody cut something out to stick it in a photo because they will never be able to hide the pixelation around it up close. You stick it in paint, and you zoom it up a thousand as much as you can and you can tell if anyone put something in a photo. So this is the crescent moon, okay, that I'm able to see it full. Just don't blame me because I'm able to get full moons and I'm able to take moon pictures during the day and I'm able to find asteroids where people don't. Someone's doing something right and I'm finding them. There you go. It's the proof. Look where this sucker's going. It was going that way, okay? It was here, and it was coming downwards like that. So it's, it's, I don't know if it's coming down or if it's going across or I, I have no idea. But here is one photo that I was able to show you guys of uh, what the, the asteroid in the lower atmosphere looks like. Because it's important. I really want to show you guys this. But see, just in a, a simple uh, enhancement... Um, on uh, with my Google, I mean this is this is really cheap stuff there, guys. This is this is Google. It's um, Windows 10. I mean, it's Windows 10. Enhance your photo or choose a filter. Never in my life will I ever say that this is a, a photo original photo uh, w um, without a filter. I will always say that there is a filter in my photo if I put it in. But this, uh, I don't care. I'm not gonna, even going to mention it because I want people to see this. I want people to see the asteroid. That right there. This is on the page under the moon. And we have the proof right here. The crescent moon. And don't forget, guys, if I, if I lower the enhancement, because this is the second time I enhance it. If I lower it, well, there you go. It's already three times smaller. And this glow here is what looks like a moon because I upped it. And in my asteroid video, this is what you are all seeing. Is this so? Big I saved DSC eight four two four down here. Eight 
435 right here. And now I'm going to come to this one. Uh, where's the number? I think it's this one. 8425. So now let's see. I can't believe I'm doing this. But I, it's going to be a good thing. It's going to prove a lot. So yeah, you guys stay right there. Take a look at this. This is the next frame as I was trying to get Constellation, Orion and uh, stuff. We're going to edit this. Now watch there be nothing. I look like a liar, but I just want to show you guys what I'm doing. There it is. There it is right here. Okay. Can you guys see that? Hold on. Is my mouse close enough? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'll put it down, camera down a bit for you. I'm not cutting anything off. No, you guys can see it. You guys can see it. So, it's to the right here. Meteorite. Here is Venus. Oh my God. Here's the moon again. Now, don't forget, it's the crescent moon. It's just big because it's enhanced. Okay. So now here's Venus, and oh my goodness, there is the meteorite. We had it here. I got a second shot of it here, about here, and now it's even further. It's, it's going across. It's just shot here like that, from there to there, in the sky. The first video I posted, it was here. Now it's here. And I looked yesterday. It was somewhere way down there. I, I, I think it was that. I couldn't even tell if it was that because it's not there anymore. And I'm outside looking for it. It doesn't make any sense. How could this big, humongous planet-like object not be there. By upping the contrast on black photos, I do this all my photos, even when there's no stars in the sky because it didn't come out. My ISO is high enough that they come out so much, and they'll see here, we can see a beautiful, what is this? It's a planet, and look at all the holes in it, all these smokes. So we have that there in the sky. And we have these, these two that are here.